So today we are going to be doing an unboxing video. What we have here is the Ryobi Quiet Strike. The model number is P290. And we are going to do a little test and see uh, how quiet it really is. I would like to see if you could use this at night if it's that quiet. But they put Quiet Strike on there for a reason. So we're going to see how quiet this is. Alrighty, so this is a tool only item and uh, it's an impact driver. So we are going to see what comes in the box and see how quiet it is. Sounds like it's, it comes more with just a couple of things. Oh yeah, so you have the, you have the belt clip. You have the belt clip, uh, the the drill bit, and the two screws to put the uh, belt clip on. Then inside you have the instructions and then the tool itself. Wow, oh, this is bigger than I thought it would be. In comparison, in size, it's actually almost the same size as the half inch impact wrench. Seriously, that's that's almost the same size. Because of that, this has to be powerful. It this has to be a very powerful impact driver. I love getting new tools. I do. Look at that. I've only seen I've only seen this on display at at Home Depot and it's always messed up because everyone, you know, wants to touch it and do this and it gets scratched. I am not sure what the uh, specs are on this, but we are going to find out. Now, it is brushed. It is not it is not brushless. So, let's see uh you know what? Might as well just do the do the thing. Ah, uh, the drill. Battery. Might as well put Might as well put it on. And then there we go. And I'm seriously impressed in how big that is. That seriously, seriously is equivalent to the half inch impact wrench. It has the three LED system. Now, just like I said in a previous video, it, it has the big, a uh, full sized magnetic tray which that should be that should be in a uh, this should be standard. This should be standard on every single thing that they make that has a a base like this. There's no speed setting. It's one variable speed. Forward it seems to be faster than reverse. This is forward. This is reverse. Just by the sound, it sounds like it's faster. Let's see what happens when we use it for an impact. All right, so let's see on how this does. Got a new hole. No, not a new hole, we got a flat surface. All right, so let's see. That wrong way. All righty. Oop, I slipped. Then one more of this. All right, I, I will, the, the name that it has is actually true. That the winding of the motor is actually a lot louder than the, uh, 
the anvil inside or whatever's inside here making this an impact it is all right let's do a, let's take it out Set. Yep, definitely have tree set. One of these. All right, so let's take that out and put this in its place. I feel like this will be as necessary for this test. Let's see if it's capable of even doing this. I am going to guide this in for a second. All right, so let's see how long this takes for this to do. All right, three, two, one, go. Wow, I am impressed on how quiet that actually is. I am truly impressed. The whining of the motor is louder than the actual impact uh, anvil itself. That is, that, that is crazy. And surprisingly, it this is powerful. This and this and this is with a 1.5 amp hour battery. Well, we are gonna use the four amp hour battery and see if there is a change in the performance. You know what? We're just gonna flat out do one of you. Oh no. Do that. We're gonna do one of you. Let's see. Alrighty. Yeah, this isn't a test, a uh, 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 versus test. This is just to see if it could even do it, and it can with a 1.5 amp hour battery. Guide it in a little bit. All right, let's go. And it, and it's in. All right, this is this is actually a good quiet. It is. It's a good quiet impact. It really is. I'm seriously impressed on that it could actually do it. Bingo. Okay, let's take this out. Put this one in. Bing. All right, so this did impress me with what, how quiet it is and what it's able to do. I'm seriously amazed that it actually did the tasks. I actually thought that it was gonna fail. I, I didn't think that it could do the, the long eight inch screws but it did it took a little bit longer but uh other than the other impacts but it did it with being quiet the the it's called quiet strike for a reason it actually did a decent job when it comes to uh keeping the noise down the motor itself was louder than the impacts and it's just uh it's it's actually extremely good that it's like that it's very good. This thing is this thing is awesome. It looks, the looks of it doesn't look too pleasing like the other uh, tools, but it, it does the job. It seriously does the job, and it did it extremely well. Wow. You know, of course the the like I said the magnet the magnet tray full size like it should be. Now there should be a magnet tray on the half inch, but there's not. There is not. But they're roughly about the same size. This is roughly the same, almost equivalent to the half inch impact. So, Quiet Strike is, a, is actually 100% accurate, which is good, which is a very good thing. Uh, but would this be my main impact? Uh, my main impact, if I were to choose one impact, it wouldn't be this one. I would rather have the noise and the extra power 
than losing power and not having any noise. But it's it's a quiet. It's they made this one for a reason because people uh, might be in situations to where they don't need a powerful one to use all day. But when they do need it, it needs to be a lot quieter than uh, a regular impact. And this one actually does that. This one fits the bill when it comes to being quiet. That is louder than the actual impact, which blows my mind. It is brushed. I'm not used to seeing the sparks in there because you know, like everything else I have is brushless. And so, yes, it, do, it, it does the trick. It does the freaking trick. So, uh, any specs on this thing? Handle is old school. You know, like uh, on this impact, it, this has the new handle where it has the finger displacement to where it fits like that. This one fits a lot better in my hand than this one because this one, all your weight goes on right under the trigger, all of the weight, and it, you can feel a pressure right here, a major pressure uh, right there. And the, in time, that will hurt because this is significantly heavier than this one. And, uh, and yeah, this one feels more natural in the hand than this one. And that's just because of the new Ryobi grip system that they, that they developed. I can't wait to put this one in action in, in a real situation and uh, see what it can do in a, in a tight spot. But that's pretty much it. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.